Welcome to the Cosmic Creatrix Podcast. Robin Rivera, your host here, and this is a space for the magical woman to give herself permission to be all that she can be and to walk away with tools for self-healing and right livelihood. You are worthy of abundance. I see you. I know you. I am you, a feminine being who has the ability to create with cosmic potential. So open your heart, open your mind, and join me on this adventure we call life. So yay, you are here today because I want to share with you how you can unblock yourself. Time and time again, I sit with incredible women, powerful women who have been plugging away at their online business, working with clients in person, maybe holding some sacred circles, full moon circles, Reiki sessions, But when it comes to really taking a stand for the fullness of their desire, which is usually to make six figures, to public speak, to have a thriving, sustainable business, you know, community, plenty of people to keep enrolling in their offerings, they come up against this block of feeling like an imposter or feeling like, who am I to share my voice? Who am I to show my face? And what are people going to think of me? And and then they try to fit themselves courageously into this professional box they think that an online coach or healer is supposed to fit into. And then when they come to me, I completely erase that whole paradigm. I just wipe it out because that type of energy and that type of striving repels people. It gets you nowhere and it's self-defeating. It's like a self-defeating trajectory. And the good news is, is the, the pathway that actually brings momentum and actually brings the wealth and a sustainable online business is authenticity. Congruency with your entire truth truth of your nature, truth of your desires, truth of your reality, truth of your message, your belief system, truth of who you really are, the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's what moves the needle forward. So then in essence, all we have to do, or one of the main things we got to do is get real cozy with who we are and create our business from that place honoring all of who we are. Oh, but Robin, but I'm so scared of this. And what if people laugh at me? And what if no one comes and this and that, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. I want to tell you the truth right now. Every excuse that you have for why you can't be successful or why you can't go to that live event or you can't do this mentorship or program or you can't run a business or you can't lead a circle... You created that entire story. And let's go a little bit darker. Let's go a little bit deeper. What about the story that that tells you, I'm not a good mom. I'm not a good wife. Look, I'm still broken. How can I be a leader? I'm not lovable. I'm not skinny enough. I'm not thick enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm not pretty or sexy enough. I'm not as eloquent. Who am I? Like, I can't do it like she does it. I'm so fucked up. I'm not good enough. You also created that story. Yeah, maybe there was people along the way who planted these seeds and nuggets, and that's all part of your spiritual curriculum. Thank you, sacred, painful teachers. But I'm calling you to a higher thought plane, a higher realization that calls absolute bullshit on every single excuse and story that you have, even the money one. Guaranteed, if your kid had leukemia and you needed a million dollars, you'd go out and get that million dollars by any means necessary over my dead body will I let my kid not get help. So it just has to mean that the stakes need to be high enough, that your sole mission and your desires need to be important enough to you for you to step into that frequency and claim dominion over your consciousness, 
What I'm saying is whatever reality you're currently in, you created it. And that sucks. And that's a harsh thing to say. And I would not say that to people that were stuck in systems of oppression. I would not be saying this so freely to them. But I believe that you that are here, who have access to the internet, who are drawn to sacred online business, who are drawn to my work, you are most likely in a position of privilege, whether that be your skin color, your access to resources, your access to the internet, your awareness of healing modalities, Privilege. All of those things are privilege, 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 privilege. I don't care if, you know, you have to get loans to make this happen to you. I funded my business off student loans. Super smart, by the way. I still owe them a bunch of money and I don't care. It'll take as long as it takes to pay it off. Who cares? I could probably pay it off in one swipe, but it's actually in default right now. You do what you got to do, okay? chances are, if you're listening to this, you are in some position of privilege, whether it's privilege of mind, privilege of circumstances, access to some kind of resources, yeah? So I want to tell you that if you created that reality, if you co-created that reality and that belief system, whatever is keeping you small and tangled up, the good news is just as easily as you created it, You can uncreate it, but you first have to know it's there. You first have to know it's there. So can you see your own bullshit? Do you have enough of a self-awareness practice on the daily that you know when you are feeding yourself your own bullshit? Because if you don't, I can't even help you. I, I can't work with you. None of my programs will help you. (laughs) that's the truth. The work I do is to take people at that stage where they have done so much self-work, they know their own bullshit and they just need help acting as if to get to the other side. Like they just need help embodying the new frequency, the new state of consciousness, the new reality with some tool set, some strategy, some mirroring, some support. And for those of you who are still stuck in your mental twists and self prisons, what I have to say to you, and this goes for everybody, but especially you, daily practice, getting therapy, having mentors, reading books, making a prayer every freaking day, seeking something greater than yourself, seeking to tap into a power greater than your finite self, which can be inside, it can be outside, however you experience it, tapping into this source and aligning yourself with that prayer and allowing everything that needs to come into your sphere to support that prayer come in. That means you got to be a spiritual warrior. So even if your brain says, I don't deserve it, I'm not good, no, you accept the help anyways. And for the leaders, same thing. When your brain tells you, I'm not good enough, I'm scared, no, no, no. You do it anyways. You stop giving energy to those labyrinths. You call bullshit on them. And one by one, you unwind each one of those labyrinths. And I can say this because I know the gravity of what I'm talking about. I had some of the ugliest most dangerous labyrinths that I've ever known out of anyone. I had labyrinths in my mind that told me to cut myself. I had labyrinths in my mind that told me to go buy a rope and hang myself when I had three kids relying on me. That is a very strong labyrinth. Wouldn't you say? But I saw it happening as it was happening because of my commitment to my self-work. I called bullshit every time those stories came in and the trauma came in and I would hold myself and rock myself and say, it's okay, Robin, it's okay, it's not real. And it's almost over, it's almost over. And I freed myself from those prisons one by one. And if it came back, and it can come back, I'm not immune to it not coming back if the circumstances are right, if they're intense enough but have a new point of reference. I can free myself from those labyrinths. 
So what is the labyrinth that you have created that's stopping you from stepping fully into your ability to achieve divine abundance, to to steward sacred portals for your communities, to create programs and offerings from your heart and successfully market them? What labyrinths have you created? Are you willing to take responsibility for those labyrinths? And what are you going to do about it to step left? What are you going to do about it to just simply step left? Yeah, I know I've been doing this and believing this for so long and getting X results. But today, I'm going to call bullshit. I'm going to dare to believe that there is another reality awaiting for me that I don't even know nothing about, but I'm going to step left into it anyways. If you want support from me and my team, my cosmic team of amazing sacred business advisors and medicine women, we are offering free five, 10 minute vision setting calls. We say five to 10 minutes, just in case, you know, we don't want to burden you with a big, long phone call, but a five to 10 minute call. And if it makes sense to go into a deeper process with you, then we'll offer you a longer call. And if you would like to take advantage of that, you will have a conversation with my right-hand girl, Ashley. She's an amazing intuitive healer and colleague. I grew up with her actually in the same hometown and uh, I just trust her a lot. Her level of insight and heart are of some of the highest that I've ever met. So I wanted to extend that to you to get you the support that you may be desiring, but you have to choose yourself, right? We ain't going to drag you. We're not going to convince you to see your greatness, but we will hold up a mirror say, oh, this is what I see. And these are the opportunities that I think might fit for where you're trying to go, whether that's a certain book, a program, a retreat, an avenue of consciousness, a framework, whatever it is, we're here to serve you where you're at. And for you high caliber, powerful, tenacious leaders in the making, we really want to witness you and we really want to support you getting a streamlined path for that. Because the last thing that I want for you is to spin your wheels and lose heart, <laughs> lose momentum, lose motivation. Yeah, It doesn't have to be that way. So the first order of operations is demystify the labyrinth, untangle the labyrinth, call bullshit on the labyrinth. Second thing is get on the phone with somebody who understands this process that can help direct you to the next steps of your leadership and your impact. And then be humble enough to receive the help however the help comes in whatever form. Staying on top of your self-work. You know, if you want to be a healer and a leader in the world, there are no days off. Yeah, you get to vacation, lay by the ocean, but I'm talking about the personal development. There's no days off. You're a divine channel. You're a conduit of the divine. No days off. Sorry. <laughs> you better hit your meditation pillow, your altar, create ritual, keep seeking, keep seeking, because this is how you're going to develop your, your vessel. Yeah, this is how you're going to be in integrity and know if you're in integrity or not and know what is the next step for you. So um, this concludes our training. If you would like to receive a vision call, Go ahead and click the link and see how much availability Ashley has. If you haven't already booked your ticket for Sovereign Queen's three-day live event, do not miss this out. Do not miss out on this. This is an incredible value for very little money. It's going to blow the roof off of everything that we have ever offered. Key takeaways. What did you take away from this chat today? Amazing, amazing. I look forward to seeing your key takeaways. I look forward to hearing about how your vision setting calls go. I love you. I'll see you very soon. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Cosmic Creatrix podcast. I hope that this episode has touched you in some kind of way. You can definitely support us by going ahead and subscribing and leaving a bomb review. This will help us reach more women and impact worldwide. And I'd love to connect with you more on Instagram around topics of healing and conscious entrepreneurship. So follow me on Instagram at Robin Rivera Ignites. And if you like to see how I work with people, go ahead and check out my website, RobinRiveraIgnites.com. 
Join us next week for more feminine wisdom, inspiration, and practical tools for the modern day magical woman. See you next time.